This BMC Atrium Orchestrator video introduces you to XML, XPath, and XSLT. Yes, you are in the right session. This is about Atrium Orchestrator. I would like to explain the concept of XML by using fruits. For example, every XML document needs to have a root element. Bananas are our root element. The child node, banana, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 4 are the individual child nodes and might have attributes or additional information. When are we going to use attributes and when are we going to describe uh, the, the properties of a banana in a different fashion? You see, the monkey ate the banana, so the monkey is interested, like we are, in the content not in the node itself. So we're going to have an XPath expression that focuses on the content. We're going to have XPath expression that focuses on the attributes. And we will learn on how do we apply the different expressions in order to get where we want to be. Now, when do we use attributes and when not? Attributes at the end of the day should be unique to each child node. So if I have a banana with the attribute of ID and type, I want to be clearly identifying this individual banana. If I want to iterate through the different bananas as my child nodes, I can either leverage the attribute ID with 1, 2, 3 and 4, or I can just use an XPath expression to count the individual elements, even go back and forth between the siblings. XPath at this point is being used to traverse the individual child nodes and to get to our element and then extract further information from this, like the monkey who ate the banana. Now let's look at the different aspect of XML documents. Each node within our, within our XML documents must have a proper start and a proper beginning. You see the banana looks the same from both sides. However, if we were, go, if we were about to just cut our banana, and an apple, in real world, would we ever have something that looks like this, a fruit like this? No. So an XML document must have a proper start and a beginning. You, you must uh, clearly work in the constraints of the XML language. However, at some point in time, we want to create a fruit salad. So we want to put the apples together with the bananas and other fruits. This is when we use XSLT. Because XSLT allows us to take individual XML documents and create something new.